Well, oh, this is, uh, what's his name? This is Jagia. Ah, oh, Jagia. Right. Okay. This is an interesting matchup. Peach versus the Lynx. A lot of times, this is where Toon Link and any Link in general will be wanting to use these projectiles right away. Oh, yeah. Perhaps more than normal in neutral. Don't approach unless you absolutely have to. What? <laughs> you don't approach unless you have some sort of confirm. It's like, oh, the boomerang's going to hit. Here we go. And that's it. Like, that's all he's really got. Certainly. And when you need, you know, these opportunities to get early percent, wait for those projectiles to provide them to you. Don't go challenging, you know, Toon Link does have a sword, but it's deceptively low range. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Now he's got him there at the ledge. He's trying to hit him with a bomb. Not really going to get it. The forward smash not going to work either. Grounded Ooh. upbeat. Punished by Jagea. Yeah, that was a great call out. He's like, yeah, I'm, I know you're going to upbeat out of shield. I got you. Don't worry about it. And it's so easy to just drop shield too early. You can miscount the number of times Toon Link will be spinning around. Oh, yeah. Side B is going to hit. Turnip's going to come out. Not really going to do much. Avoids the bomb. And Jagea floats in. Does not get the fair two kill. But you have to imagine another one will. Is he oh too low? No. He is. Air dodged. Air dodged a little bit too low. I think he thought the bomb was going to hit him or something. Yeah, that's the way up. Perhaps either that or Toon Link's recovery. Tether's back but gets him with a turnip. Doesn't have that much ledge invincibility anymore. No, Marco will have to be playing around that. He's trapped in the corner now. Finally gets out. Uh oh. Got a little bit too risky there with that boomerang. Gets the fair, floats yeah. back in. All of a sudden, even stocks. So you can see, there's the up tilt into the backer. Trying to get another one. Not really going to get it. Uh oh. Ooh. Here we go. We've seen this on Twitter. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and that's such an easy combo for the amount of reward it gives you yeah. for Peach players. It's a quick 0 to 63 if executed correctly. And Jagea, we've seen him hit that in the past, but you just saw it there right now. Catch him with two forward airs there. The second one actually hitting him in the middle, throwing out an arrow. Just the straight call out there from Jagea. Peach Bomber's back to the stage. And the nice. fair bomb confirm fair? off of the bomb won't kill. But the grounded up special. Oh, no, that won't kill either for Marco. All these bombs coming out of the boomerang there, just trying to get the ledge trap. But Jagia waiting patiently and just punishing when he can. This is such an even game. Neither Marco nor Jagia want to make the first move. There goes more bombs and boomerangs. Meanwhile, the Peach Bomber from Jagia will successfully cover his recovery. Another back throw? See a back throw. No, good no, DI to the corner. Not enough. Here comes more bombs. The boomerang coming straight up, and there's the up B, and that's going to do it finally. Catching him, rolling onto the stage, trying to avoid all these projectiles. And not a moment too soon for Marco. We saw him being trapped in the corner multiple times, but with oh, a yeah. couple of well timed tethers and the back there from Peach finally going to seal this out. The bomb, short hop, Nair coming out from Jagia. Zare for Marco confirms off that <gasps> and the bomb. Oh, the down air, that was so risky. Yeah, Jagea would have just waited out the spot dodge there, had time for a much better punish, but did not see that one coming. There's another turn up there, just going to be rolling into the stage. I feel like that's a really awkward habit that Marvelous Marco is starting to develop. It's like he gets to the ledge, like let's say on this side, he's on the left side. And then every time he safely gets on, he just rolls. It is, like, and it's something right you can right. call out if you just don't. If there's a bomb active, that might cover it a little bit, but when you don't have a projectile pulled, that does leave you vulnerable. I just feel like it's only a matter of time for Jagia, like, might start catching on to that. See, like that. It's like he had him right there, and then he decides to roll. Does not have a bomb pulled. We'll have to get creative. Finally gets on the platform oh, to give himself boring. enough time. Oh, no, didn't chase him down. I don't think he was confident enough for it. Forward throw. Not quite close enough to the ledge. That will kill at around 155 on Peach if you get close enough. Oh, boomerang's coming out. There's the Zare. Another boomerang. He's just going to try and keep him there at the ledge. This is the forward tilt calling out the neutral getup. And Marvelous Marco taking game one. Yeah, we, you talked about Langer dangerous ledge habits for Marco, but that... That was just an easy call out for Marco on Jagea. Yep. That had to be something you wanted to roll around, especially without a bomb planted on stage. Yeah. I, I feel that 
even if he did roll, he might have got caught by it as well. I'm not I'm not too versed on uh, in how large that particular hitbox is. But I've definitely seen some hitboxes that, like, there's a forward tilt right there at the ledge. Even if you roll, the back end of it's going to hit you. Right. That that one in particular is larger than it appears. Yeah. So there we go. Going to smash roll. Hazard's off, so that's that middle um, platform stays right there. Almost got an immediate shield break. Yeah. It's actually quite scary. If, Mar if Marlos Marco knows this, and I feel like he should have been going in a little bit more, just to, like, pressure Jagia into shielding some more. I believe he just wanted to drop back to perhaps pull out a bomb to put on even more shield pressure, but... Yeah. Then Jagia immediately started just being like, nah, I, I ain't letting that happen. No, of course, the <gasps> forward air, not quite. We saw red sparks at around 70%. That was scary. Just goes to show how light Peach is. Another one, side B, there's the bomb. Oh, the bomb fair, not gonna work. Somehow Jukio was able to uh, manipulate his way to actually pop up rather that, than pop a little bit forward. And that boomerang just came to his rescue. You could see Marco was dreading perhaps a Peach fair, but that knocked him out of the way. Gets it in once again. The upbeat. No, gets stuck by the down of the downer can be tethering back now. Does not want to risk these turns at all. The back throw will do it. Yeah, this is a very good counter pick for uh, Jagia. In the sense that he's not that much space for Mar for Marco to actually grab what he needs to grab. It is, and there's, you know, on Smash Roll, there's simultaneously enough space to get early percent combos as well as up air confirms, but floating there. Just getting the float, uh, the float back here there. So now Marvelous Marco just going to keep the pressure on. Once again, Jagia just respecting him a little bit too much. Decides to sit there at the edge of the ledge. 56% oh, off of one down tilt. Peach Bomber comes in from Jagia. We'll have to be careful offstage oh, no. in the face of that sword, though. Oh, the boomerang coming back. He actually able to convert off of it. That was actually really great. Yeah, we've seen that multiple times this set. He's just a master of that. But the uh -oh. turnip, he does have a bomb pulled. Will be. <gasps> no, he just dropped it. Oh, but he didn't take advantage of that. That was looking really scary for Marco, but did manage to space that just so that he would need hitting first. Florida mm -hmm. not going to get it still. 121. 32, Marlos Marco getting the bomb hit, but actually not going to convert off of it. Just going to tack on a little bit more damage. Side B coming into play. Not going to kill across the stage, but not too far away either. Okay. He's fine. Another side B and still able to float and get the forwarder. Marvelous Marco thought he can get him with some sort of grounded move. Oh, yeah. Hey, up smash. That works. Yeah, good call out. That's the first time we've seen an up smash just raw from Marco, and it did convert, so he's one for one on those. Oh, my God. That was six up tilts in a row, like, on his shield. And then he just kept doing it. Ooh, there he is, the bomb there. And the bomb getting him out of Peach's grasp. Oh, Once again, shield. waits out the grounded hero spin. Oh, that shield is mighty tiny. I go again to the back air. Uh-oh. Oh, the forwarder. Yeah, that could have spelled the end of game two. If JK was just inches closer. Good parry. Okay, another side be there, able to actually float away. See, there it is again, the, a repeat scenario. This time, Marco just needs for JK to back up. Just stave him off for the moment to let that shield recharge. JK just pressuring him, just pushing him towards the ledges every time with these float. Uh, this full arrows, the forward air, is that going to do it? Yes, that is. Only is just. You were saying? Oh, no, go ahead. No, you, you, you were like right right about to say something. No, it's fine. Ah. Only just killing him, yeah. by the way. That was, you know, 5% earlier, that wouldn't have killed. But oh. with correct DI and just the right amount of spacing, nothing Marvelous Marco could do about that without those projectiles hitting. Yeah. They're shame too. So now Marvelous Marco um, potentially changing his controls, maybe? Oh no. Just perhaps going to another stage. I can see Town and City. I could as well. 
Uh, there's plenty of side platforms and the middle one, so just keep your bombs on. No, it's time to go Pokemon Stadium 2. Time to go to uh, somewhat even ground, I guess. Yeah, if if I were if I were Marco, I would have chosen Town City. But then again, Jagiel might have gone banned that. Right, you'd have to imagine that that is perhaps the highest priority on his list of bans. But yeah, is that or uh, that or Kalos, or Yggdrasil's just for the unfamiliarity. Maybe. Attack, it's the backer. I just wanted him to release shield, but neither of them willing to drop it first. Got the trip and not taking advantage of it. The last hit of that Nair will send Marco to the right. Waits out the dare, but shield in time to avoid the Peach Bomber. Right fair. Downer, forwarder, okay. A couple more bombs gonna be coming out, but the turn up into the forwarder! Just gonna keep raining them out. Yeah, out of the jump, but good weaving in and out off stage to just get within the tether space. Up to upper? Nope. Whoa! Just he, clipping him. He just waited a little bit too long, and you know, if he wasn't careful, that could have been a, could have been a down smash punish or something a lot more drastic. Yeah, that slight hesitation actually saying a lot there is like hanging on the ledge. Like, what do I do? I certainly the grounded hero spin. Once again, Marvelous Marco just struggling a lot here at the ledge in both games. Both games here on Pokemon Stadium. Yeah, these are two relatively light characters and two characters with a lot of kill potential. So we will be seeing perhaps more early stocks taken in game three, but oh, the eyes to the corner, not enough to prevent him from losing that first stock. Still 71% in the lead, but that might be dwindling at the hands of this early percent combo. Great stuff there by uh, by Jiki. I actually catch him out of the air dodge, and I should get him with the backer there on the platform. It's like he can't get the full combo, but at least he can get something out of it. Yeah, any percent is good percent. Oh yeah. Boomerang fair. Oh bomb fair. Yep, that'll do it. Calling out the roll there on the ledge. Yeah, excellent work from Marco. He's been going for those and hitting those. That's been perhaps one of the first times we've seen a kill off of it, but the confidence to just go for it again and again and again and hit these as consistently as he is. Oh, for the first time in this set, Jake actually dropped shield in the middle of the spin. Get it back there. Just going to keep him at the ledge. This is where Jake shines. Oh, but just drops it. Got rid of the bomb, but that sword is so, so good at recovering if you're not approaching from above. Dash attack there, 150%. One fair can do it. Maybe even a backer, depending on where you're yeah, at. Fair oh, will the... close it out. Ooh. So much stuff going on in that sequence. But Marvelous Marco's taking it 2-1. Now the two stock to end game three. We That's saw him already. just grow in confidence as the set went on, and 